Good morning, Sheffield. Hey. That's pretty good for this time of the morning. I think that, that's, I'm, I'm happy with that, not gonna lie. Right, folks. First game of the day, first of four games of roller derby. Get yourselves comfy. Uh, we've got the Super Smash Brawlers skating in the blue, and we've got Chaos Engine skating in the white. And they're off. And here we go, first jam of the day. Uh, Mobius Trip picking up lead jammer for Chaos Engine. Oh, but that's a uh, Brawler's drama has got through straight away on the outside. Yeah, Dick Van Strike just Dick running Strike, along the inside line. Oh. Maybe his trip uh, up against. That's uh, Buzz Killington causing all kinds of problems there for Mobius. Three points bagged there by Chaos, though. Oh, we got one up on the board there for the Brawlers. So first jam, both teams get something up. And now what a lineup for jammers here. We have Gruff for the Super Smash Brawlers. And that's Ewoki Horror for Chaos Engine. Uh, would it be fair to say that's Comrade Gruff? Ooh, and that is Gruff through for lead jammer for the Brawlers. Oh, and that footwork straight through for Gruff with a full scoring pass. Megapixel causing all kinds of trouble for Ewok, uh, but him managing to do some beautiful footwork to get around the hips yep. of Warp Gen and Beta Parker. M Megapixel is horrible to skate against, but such a lovely person. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, an they're an absolute terror. And there we go, that is two full scoring passes on the board for the Brawlers. And that's zero for the Chaos Engine. Walter, we've got our first lead change. We do indeed. I'm sure there'll be many more. I get the feeling there might be. Um, these two teams have both put up excellent work in this division. Uh, this division, of course, being the Tier 2 MRDA aligned. Um, Northern? Northern, correct. Northern Division, yes. I know geography <laughs> is something that I cannot Ooh. say. So we've got Serial Killer jamming against Bubs. And as Bubs is fighting their way through and straight out behind uh, Serial Killer. Yeah, CK is lead, but Bubs is after him like he's after a McRib. This pack is moving fast. These jammers are moving faster. Big shoulder there from Stevie Gonzalez. Shuts down Serial Killer, but it's two points apiece. Ooh. I mean, both teams really fought for that one. No one wanted to give up any points. The Rick roll of jams, if you will. <laughs> oh dear, it's going to be a long day. It, it's going to be, if, if I'm getting all the puns out now. True, yeah, get them out in the first game. Yeah. And there we go, that is Dick Van Strike up for the Brawlers. And that's our very own Lord Jack Skatington jamming for Chaos. I've heard good things about him. He's supposed to be a bit good. Oh, they're all right. Eh, Pass eh. Passable, passable. Fast, though. A little bit. And that is another call jump for the Brawlers, putting another one point up on the board. We're at 12-5 to the Brawlers. Brawlers with one blocker in the box. So pack advantage to Chaos Engine now with Mobius Trip and Gruff up to jam. Now we saw Gruff had the high scoring uh, jam of the game so far. Can he do it again? No pressure. Oh, maybe it's Trip taking full advantage of that pack disadvantage to the Brawlers. 
Oh, and Gruff just round the outside line and just took that space. And then made a very weird noise. Roller derby, everyone, roller derby. Uh, this pack is moving fast. Gruff is chasing his point. Mobius Trip is pushing those laps. And like we said, we're going to have more of them. That is another lead change. Oh, uh, Gruff has found his way through. Yeah, Gruff with the sneak, sneaky star stash. I mean, he sacrificed those two points to get himself through, but he still got two points. And the jam is now called. So that jam... So it looks like that jam does end uh, with a completed lead change. 14 points to the Brawlers, 17 to Chaos Engine. 12-point jam for Mobius Trip. And we're now starting the opposite way around with Chaos with one down and the Brawlers with a full contingent. And that is Bubs fighting his way through. And there's Bubs with Lee Jammer once again on the outside. With some fancy footwork, Bubs gets himself a scoring pass. He is a, he is a fan of those fancy feet. And Snooks, if you look at the board, we have another lead change. Oh, good grief. And Bubs is now establishing that lead change. Oh, and Bubs uh, goes around the outside, but has to call it. Better to save those points and let Chaos Engine get anything. That was another 12-point jam. That's Dick Van Strike back up on the uh, jam line for uh, the Brawlers. And that is looking like, I believe that is an official review or an official timeout. Official timeout. Official timeout. Official timeout. So while they're having a bit of a chat, how's everyone doing this morning? Try again. How's everyone doing this morning? Much better. Say you're awake now. Don't make me come over there. I've got a wireless mic. You don't want me over there. I know you don't. He'll do it. He's already, he's already checked how far he can go with the mic. Um, we've been informed the range on these mics is further than in the hall. Yeah, I can um, go everywhere. So if you don't make enough noise, I will come out there. It's, it's a promise, not a threat, basically. Um, yeah. <laughs> in the nicest possible way, like, we're, we're not going to do damage. That's, that's Slayson. That's no, no, no. We we won't I promise. We've got to draw a line somewhere. I think the refs have possibly had their chat. Looks like something's something is going on over there. Yeah, so it looks like a penalty has been assessed against Bubs between jams. So he's starting in the bin, and it is a power jam start for Chaos Engine. 
And Serial Killer on for this one. Absolutely races along the inside line and picks up lead in this much needed power jam uh, for those mess Mancunian messes of chaos. I like that. That was good. That Thanks was good. very much. Uh, that is Serial is finding a lot of any gap he can find to get through and just flew right through there. Brilliant pack and track awareness from Chaos, uh, from Serial Killer there. Uh, big takeoff by Buzz Killington. However, Buzz also going off, so Chaos knew, yeah. um, Serial Killer knew he was fine to carry on. But Bubs there has got himself through out of the bin and he's on a scoring pass. Oh, and a big hit off the edge there. I tell you what, I, I just, I've been so looking forward to seeing um, what a salt and pepper was going to do to our jammers. Um, oh, and it, there we go. There is Bubs through with that scoring pass. Manages to put four on the board. And, oh, no. Yes, no. No, not a lead change. Almost. That was an 11 point jam for the Chaos Engine. And that brings it to a one-point game. 28 points to Chaos Engine, 29 to the Brawlers. Uh, 21 minutes and 12 seconds left of the first half. Oh, I can A quick official time out there, just amending the score. I think it was apparently, I think it sounded like a no pass, no penalty situation. Exactly correct. At 29 to 27. But we now have Dick Van Strike up on the line for the Brawlers. But that's Lord Jack Skatington getting out as lead jammer for Chaos. I mean, I've heard he looks good in green. Rumour has it. Rumour has it. Oh, and that is a completed star pass there for the Brawlers. That is Megapixel out in front now. Yeah, taking the star for the first time with the Brawlers. Interested to see what the Bot of Doom can do. And we've got a big, massive skaters in the middle of the track there. Both jammers trying to fight their way through. Beautiful sweep by Dig Van Strike, breaking down that wall. However, Megapixel, one blocker left to face. Oh, some dipping and diving there from Megapixel. That was some very fancy footwork. Jamming from the Patches O'Houlihan School of Jamming. And that gave us, oh, it was a big scoring score there for Chaos Engine. That was a 16 point jam. And what did that give us? So that's another lead change. And we got ourselves an official review from an the Brawlers. Review. So while Snooze goes to check on what this official review is, I might come and talk to you a lot. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. So this is Giggs. Hi. He's, he's, he's really enthusiastic, isn't he? Wave everyone, Giggs. Wave everyone. There you go, see the waving back. He's, he's in their third game with, with us. Not, not with us, but against us. Yeah. But uh, have you had a good day so far? Yeah, it's been good. Enthusiasm, I love it. <laughs> now we have some TSI up here. We have Jiggly Tough. Woo! <laughs> We have Mario. Hey! We have our brilliant bench. Woo! You're all the way down now, I'm gonna reach. Hello. Woo! There we go. Everyone's still talking? They're still doing things. I'll go up here a bit further. How far can I go? Hello, how are you? I'm all right. There we go, see, I can get here. I can keep going. Brilliant. We have shops up here. If you wanna buy some stuff, come up here. Say something about your shop. Pardon? Say something about your shop. I have kit spray so you can not be stinky all day. That's what you want, definitely. 
Say something about your shop. Art and Octopus. There you go. Hello. Say something about your shop. Gaystuff and Fogs. Brilliant. Lots of stuff going on up here. What's going on? Do I have to go back down? I think I have to go back down. I'll come and talk to you a lot later. It's a long way away. Hold on. Oh, it's a long way. Nearly back. Lots of fun. I need to sit down after that. I might not do that too many times. That's a long way up, but I've got to get the rest of the stalls. So, Snoogans is back. I'm going to have a breather. Snoogans, has had, Snoogans will tell you what's going on. Okay, so the brawlers were looking for a forearms penalty to be assessed on Chaos's jammer. Uh, it was determined that there were no eyes on the action, um, so no call um, could be accurately assessed. So no call stands. For sure, have you lost? Okay, and uh, while you were saying that, we got Gruff out there with Lee Jammer now coming in for his scoring pass. And look at that footwork right on the outside like it was nothing. Smooth. Um, I do feel the need to add that um, when I was able to point out where exactly you were commentating from during that official sure review, um, it elicited quite shrill laughter from Stormy um, and shouts of challenge Annika. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I like that. I'm okay with that. I mean, I can go all the way up here as well. I think there's stores up there, isn't there? I've no idea. We'll find out, don't you worry. Meanwhile, on track, we have Lee Jammer being assessed to Iwaki Horror, who is laying on the crossovers. Oh, oh we've got some offensive jamming from Bob's. Oh, that was Bob's just had to go for it there, and that, that offensive jamming was very offensive, and it worked well. And Bob, uh, Iwaki Horror had to save his points, and another, another official review. I'm going for another walk. I'll be out of breath, hold on. I'm coming for you, John, don't worry. So, what's going on up here? We've got the raffle and the cake stall. Raffle and cake stall. Everyone likes a raffle, everyone likes cakes. Come and buy some. What else have we got? Oh, there's so many things. What are you doing? I'm... I don't know. <laughs> Is this your stuff? Yes. Sell it. I'm with Cupid Doll. We're a tattoo studio in the centre of town. We're selling prints and patches and jewellery. Brilliant. How about you? Tie-dye socks and custom mirrors. There's so much stuff up here. What's going on? A fish review still going on. How about you people? I'm selling prints. They're all colourful and cute. Awesome. How about you? Laser cut jewellery. Things are still going on over there. Oh, God, there's more. Oh, flipping neck. Hold on. How about you? We're selling prints and stickers. So if you don't leave here with some stickers, you've done something wrong. They're still talking, right. How about you? He's ignoring me. I'm doing very well, thank you. What are you selling? Uh, it's apparel, t-shirts, socks, everything. Sunglasses. Lots of stickers as well. See, stickers, everyone has stickers. Can I? Oh, I've got to go, got to go. Quick, quick, quick. Now it's gone not to take a header down the stairs. Oh. I've got to beat the, beat the jam. Good practice for the game later. Oh, jam started. Here we go. Oh, I hope they don't have another one of them for a while. I can't do that too many times. Well, I mean, that's both the official reviews used in our, this half, so... Okay, so Chaos Engine, we're looking for a forearms put call to be assessed to Brawler's Jammer uh, for the contact that happened in that offensive jamming situation. Uh -huh. um, it was determined that the contact that happened was not penalty worthy or 
it, impact, it etc. Happens that it's the it's impact versus intent and what yeah, is the game. Yeah, that, that, that kind of stuff. Um, so no call stands if you're sure of you lost. Oh, serial oh. killer looking for a cheeky apex jump. Uh, Dick Van Strike is still fighting the way through and has got all the way through. That is their initial pass. And the jam is called. Don't anyone call an official review. I need a rest. Eight point jam sees Chaos Engine squeaking out a bit of a lead. Uh, 37 plays 51 in favor of Chaos with 17 minutes left of the first half. And here we go, he's gruff on track again as the Jammer Force. The Brawlers just ran through everyone, but they got they stopped him. And it looks like Lord Jack Skating got out there as not lead, no, not lead. So two no, this will be a two minute jam. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, nobody. Oh. Maybe not. Looks like just a little bit of uh, confusion. Uh, looks like Gruff was lead for the Brawlers. I say it is a very fast paced game. It can get a bit confusing at times. Oh my yes. And that is a most definite lead being assessed to Mobius Trip. Meanwhile, Bubs looking for that initial pass. Nice holding up front by Assault and Pepper and Jarvis Shocker but they have to let him go. And that was some fancy footwork by Bubs there just to get through and really push that wall to its limit. And that looks like Bubs has taken, I believe that was a cut track penalty and is now sitting in the bin. It gives Chaos Engine a power jam. And we are now just under the halfway mark of this first period. Mobius Trip opting to call the jam there with two points in his pocket and freezing Bubs into the penalty box, meaning that Iwaki Horror will start the next jam on a power jam. Both these worlds are fighting. Chaos are trying to get their jammer through, but beat the Parker with a big hit there on Iwaki Horror. Oh, no, Bubs is out, got snuck out of the box while a bit of chaos was going on and has got his initial pass. Coming around for his scoring pass. And we ended that one on a four-point jam for Chaos Engine. Chaos now at 69 versus Super Smash Brawlers, 43, and we're into the last 13 minutes of this first period. And we now have Dick Van Strike on the jam line for the Brawlers, and Serial Killer has just got through and got lead jammer for Chaos Engine.
Massive contact there to Serial Killer. Wipes him out, but a quick recovery. Beautiful hit there by Edgar Allan. Whoa! I can't physically say his name normally. It has to be emphasis on the whoa. You're not doing it right if you don't. Exactly. And there we go. That is the jam called. So, shall we both do it? He's just going to skate past us. So it's Edgar, Edgar Allen. Allen. Whoa! <laughs> We've got you in surround sound, man. Oh, it looks like we have a team timeout. I'm not coming over there for a minute. That's, that's too far to run. Not, not for a minute, no. Was everyone having a good time so far? <laughs> See, the energy's good already. That's what we want. Keep yeah. it up all day. There's three more games after this. <laughs> what I will say, because although I'm not a parent, I'm still a bit of a dad. Please keep hydrated. Please make sure you eat. Like, whether that's cake, actual food, you know, just look after yourselves. You know, just, you know. What? I mean, that was always good advice. Hydration and fueling yourself. That's exactly. what you need to do. Even if you're sitting there, you're still going to wear yourself out because you're going to cheer so much through the day. You need to keep that energy up. You do better. <laughs> Remember, I've got a live mic. I can come and talk to you. He'll, I, I, I was going to say he'll do it. He's clearly done it already. <laughs> so here we are. That timeout is over and we are back to a jam and Gruff is on the jam line for the brawlers. Oh, silky, silky smooth on that inside line. <laughs> we... we oh, oh. We do love a little bit of um, coaching from the audience as well, though. Um, as Gruff was coming round on that second straightaway, I just heard, speed up, they're behind you. It was um, almost like we're in a panto. <laughs> yeah. And this is just a panto on wheels. I don't know how I feel about that. We have crazy names, there's a bit of wild makeup, there's some fantastic costumes. I mean, you just hit each other more. Good grief, you're right. Audience participation, see? They're cheering, they're doing things, they've got some energy. Mobius Trip is lead. Fully expected you to say, oh, no, he isn't. Um, oh, yes, he is. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, he is. And that's a scoring pass for Mobius Trip. And that is uh, Bob's being sent to the bin. And we've now got a power jam for Chaos Engine. And Chaos call the jam there to give themselves a power start on this next jam. Hey, Jarvis. I think he has some stickers available for sale as well. Do you? Yeah. I'll talk to him later. I mean, Jarvis Shocker skating past us there, throwing the, uh, the chaotic finger guns. Um, also here with, with uh, his... His side hustle, uh, Sean Martland Art, drawing weird stuff so you don't have to. Make sure you check him out. Some awesome Dungeons, Dragons, and Roller Derby stuff going on. Absolutely love it. It's weird saying his real name. It really is. That's not his real name, that's just his brand. He's Jarvis <laughs> Shocker. Yeah. 
Oh, oh beautiful. What a move from Bubs. Out of the bin and managed to get lead. Beautiful work from Bubs. However, incredible defense from those blockers holding Iwaki Horror um, for the duration of that power jam start. That was, yeah, uh, the brawlers really held their own there. And I will say, Iwaki Horror has a magnificent beard. And oh. that's coming from me. Yeah, that's fair. Um, truly, truly is. I, I feel like he may be like one fifth beard. It, I, maybe, yeah, about that, yeah. I'm, I'm not that good at maths, but we'll, we'll say yes. Yeah, it's not just you, mate. Oh, something is going on. A timeout going on by the looks of it. I think it's some uh, track repair. Aha. I'm not going to come and annoy people. Well, speaking of uh, not being very good at maths, that's the maths I can do. Uh, with five minutes, uh, no, eight and a half minutes <laughs> remaining of the first half, uh, we've got a 40 point differential, 51 points to the Brawlers, 91 to Chaos Engine. I mean, that sort of diff, it's still anyone's game. Yeah, very much so. Um, a few 12 point jams turns the tide easily. Yup. Um, as well as the uh, Sean Martlard Arts upstairs, we also have Carnelian Lights, um, Octo stickers, badges, and all sorts of fun. Did we just get a woo from Carnelian Lights upstairs? There they are. Hey. Love your stuff. Saw you at another game a couple of months ago. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Um, we've also got Cupid Dolls Tattoo. Um, a piercing studio for the girls, gays, and theys of Sheffield. Um, make sure you check them out. They've got patches, prints, and pins available. Uh, we've got Cherry Touche, uh, a collective of three illustrators who created a small business to sell prints and other products. Um, and they've got cute and colorful illustrations, art prints, stickers, key rings, badges, and more. Uh, I'll jump on to the next one. So we have uh, Witch Sense here. Uh, we have charms, keychains, pin badges, prints, an artist who makes work about the things I love. Teen nature, frogs, games, gay stuff, and more. What more can you ask for? Still repairing the track. We have Steel Life Clothing, tattooed in inspired streetwear culture since 2016. Nice. Georgie Marnie, high quality relatable prints, cards, and stationery illustrated in Sheffield by Georgie Marnie to make for a little brighter life. Life a little brighter. I was editing there. The track is back down and we are back on. And we are in jam number 19 of the game so far. No, 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 19. Serial Killer is your lead jammer as Frankie Tents does a big recycle of Dick Van Strike. I, it's like Skittles there, everyone's going over, but Chaos are holding that wall firm. They are not letting Dick Van Strike through. And, I mean, I, I'm, am I correct? I think Serial Killer is probably is the youngest skater on track today. And at that age, it's phenomenal. I mean, he's already been skating for seven years. Yeah, that's... I, I think that's... The people who start that young, if they start when they are, like, literally they pop out the womb and put skates on, you know they're going to be yeah. good. There, there was a... Ooh, that was a big hit there, but calls the jam. We had uh, a skater for us who, who, who left. He was, a, he was a traitorous, traitorous man. But he'd been skating for a number of years before he joined us and was a little bit good. We don't mention him by name anymore. We just call him Judas. Oh, and that, is, that jam there took Chaos Engine to the 100 point mark. So it was Smash Brawls at 52 with seven minutes to go. Try again, bit louder. There we go, that's what we like to hear. Lord Jack Skaterton just getting through to complete that initial pickup lead. But uh, Gruff is right behind him, gonna chase him down. And the last thing you want chasing you down is Gruff. It really is. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what that little hop that. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what that little hop that uh, Lord Jack Skatington did there, but it was very nice at the end before he called it. Did a little, little hop and then called the jam. Oh, 
Oh, and there we go. That is Lee Jammer there for Chaos Engine. But Bubs is right behind. These are the sort of jams we like to see. Both jammers out and then they'll fight for the front. Beautiful shutdown by Soup. Soup once again showing that they're more solid than liquid. However, Bubs flows through to pick up the four points. Oh, it looks like we just had a jammer wipe out there, and Bubs has got himself through to the front and got through. Oh, no. Ed Grolin, whoa, just knocked him off track. Got to get the woes. Still got points all round. Another 16 points on the board for Mobius Trip. So here we are up on the jam line for the brawlers is Dick Van Strike, but we have another timeout. Oh. I think just the refs having a quick chat. Ewoki Horror and Dick Van Strike jostling for space. Uh, behind that jam line at the start of the jam. Oh, everyone's just piling in on that one, and... Uh, ooh, no, there we go. Ewoki Hori gets through, sneaks his way through there. I think strike was through, but it wasn't legal. Correct. I think he missed that last one, got knocked off right at the end. Ewok now round for a scoring pass. And we've had ourselves a star pass to Buzz Killington. Uh, Buzz Killington is now the jammer, has got himself through, now coming in to score some points. Oh, and we're in our last three and a half minutes. We've probably only got a couple more jams to go of this first period. And I mean, it's been an exciting game so far. We're getting Gruff back up on that jam line. And here we go, Gruff forcing his way right through the middle. That brawler's wall is holding our jammer, but there we go, Gruff gets lead jammer once again. Beautiful, uh, <clears throat> beautiful work by the brawler's blockers, uh, occupying serial killer at the back of the pack while Gruff fought through to pick up that lead jammer. And Gruff calls it, and we ended up with a 3-1 jam. Serial killer was that little bit quicker and snuck their way through. He looks chuffed with that, bless him. I don't blame him. Yeah, understandable, to be fair. And here we go, we have Bubs up on the jam line, ready for the brawlers. And it looks like Lord Jack Skating got himself through there as Lee Jammer. We do look like we've got quite a... The pack, the pack is broken apart here. Everyone is fighting to find their way through. Oh, that's some fancy footwork there by Lord Jack Skatington. Very nice, very nice indeed. But well, Bubs has got through. Bubs is now on their initial, on their scoring. And there's Pixel dropping low to take out Low Jack Skatington's legs. That is Pixel's weapon. 
Oh, some fancy footwork there by Bubs getting through on the inside. A little bit of an apex hop. Be honest, I don't talk about fancy feet this much unless I'm looking at my cats. <laughs> so here we are, Dick Van Strike is up on the jam line. And this will probably be our last jam of this period. Oh, and it's actually a power jam for the brawlers. Lord Jack Skating is sitting in the bin. That was a bit sneaky, I missed that. Yeah, same. Some big hits being thrown here. But Dick Van Strike is going to fight his way through and try and find the front of that pack. Beautiful hit Ooh. by Jarvis Shocker. Frank Intense holding with him at the front. And that is lead for Dick Van Strike, but Lord Jack Skating has just got out the bin. That was a 30 second fight to get Lee Jammer. And that was a cheeky little hop by Lord Jack Skatington. Yeah, apex hop landed on one foot. And that is the jam call. That is three points up on the board for the Brawlers. Zero for Chaos Engine. And that is half time. We are at 67 for the Super Smash Brawlers, 133 for Chaos Engine. That's been a really exciting first period of Roller Derby. We'll be back in 15 minutes with more of it. And here we go. We're getting ready to start the second period. We're starting at 67 Super Smash Brawlers and 133 Chaos Engine. Dick Van Strike and Lord Jack, Stake, yeah, Lord Jack Skatington are on the jam line. Here we go, a bit of roller derby action. And we are off. Jammers are jostling for position, trying to find their way through that wall. Neither wall wants to give it up, but Lord Jack's getting gets through for Lee Jammer. We seem to have lost one of our mics. Any of the tech can come and have a look at our microphone, please. So you'll have to listen to me instead of Snooks for a while. That is Lord Jack's getting through on a scoring pass. And Buzz Killington is fighting his way through. We've had a star pass and Buzz Killington is the jammer now. Is fighting his way through and is, th is yes, yes, is through the pack with a scoring pass. If we have any available technical person, our microphone isn't working. So here we go, we now have Gruff up on the jam line for the Smash Brawlers and Mobius Trip for Chaos Engine. Unfortunately, Snoogan's microphone isn't working. You're going to have to listen to me so much more now. I'm sure you all love that. Uh, we have the Jammers finding their way through, and that is Mobius trip through as Lee Jammer. Hello. I would like to talk about the roller derbies, please. Thanks, Andy. Snooks is back! 
and the crowd goes mild. <laughs> it's all right. You're not here for and me. It's fine. Has got himself through with a little cheeky star, star stash and got through on his initial pass. Coming in for his scoring pass. Mobius Trip is coming in, trying to get those points. Calls it off, doesn't let Gruff get anything. So here we are up on the jam line for the brawlers is Bob's. And for Chaos Engine, we have Ewoki Horror. Some cheeky footwork on the outside, but Ewoki Horror to get the lead jammer there, but Bubs is right behind, chasing down. Look at those legs go. Ended up with a 0 0 jam there. Iwaki Hori did not want to give away any points. Now that, that's how you force a call off. It really is. You, you skate behind that jammer, you chase them down, you scare them. They will call that jam. So uh, there's something that I um, haven't mentioned today um, that I would like to take an opportunity to do so while um, we have them on track. Um, 1962, uh, Peter Parker doing some very nice recycling of Serial Killer for Chaos Engine at the moment. Um, chair of the board of um, East Midlands Open Roller Derby, uh, home of the Super Smash Rollers, um, is retiring. Oh. Uh, this is their very last game of Roller Derby. Um, they will be remaining involved in the sport as a coach and um, other wonderful things. Um, hopefully they'll pick up the mic a bit more. They're very good at that. Um, but this is their very last competitive game of roller derby. Well, um, so that was very nice. What Serial Killer did. That was just, just, a, just an effortless, effortless yeah. jump. Um, but as you can see them um, eagle eyes all over the track, folks. If you could take a moment to make some beautiful noise as they've taken that star pass for the one and only Beta Parker. Now, Peter Parker is going to come in, in for those points, try and smash his way through that pack. Big here there from Jarvis. Shocker takes Parker down. Uh, that's an out of play block, uh, out of play going to a salt and pepper. One less blocker for Parker to contend with. Big hit from Warp Gen, takes Serial Killer down in a deep reset. And there we go, we have Ed Gron, whoa, taking on Beta Parker at the front there, but Beta Parker has got himself through and has got some points on the board. We love to see it in this swan song. Beta Parker, an international skate, beautiful oh. hit. That was just a cheeky, cheeky little hit. Showing these young whippersnappers. <laughs> and that jam came to, I believe that came to its natural conclusion. It did. That was 20 points on the board for Chaos Engine and eight for the Brawlers. We're at 81, 173. It's looking like we have Two skaters in the bin, one sitting, one standing. We have Gruff and Lord Jack Skaterton once again on the jam line. Jack spots some space down the inside line and picks up lead, however, Gruff. <laughs> Gruff is right behind him. I think he's, was he singing at him or was he going choo-choo? I don't know, but Gruff is right behind Jack. And, and oh, some cheeky footwork there from Lord Jack Skatington calling the jam off. They managed to put up on the board one point, and that was two points go up on the board for the Brawlers. The Brawlers actually got the better of that jam. I, I think uh, Groff may have been shouting, I can see you. 
<laughs> yep, the thumbs up. He agrees. Not, not going to lie, I also heard a bit of Jack, Jack, um, which made me think of, we caught him, we caught him. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very nerdy about The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's probably my favourite film. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Anyway, back to roller derby. So, Bubs is on the jam against Mobius Trip, and both jammers are fighting their way through to the front. Bubs has got through for Lee Jammer. Mobius managing to break past the hips of Coco, which is no small feat. Um, not going to lie. Bubs being taken to the edge of the line by that fearsome two wall of Assault and Pepper and yeah. Frank Intense. It was one point, but that's one more point than Chaos got that jam, and that's sometimes all you need, point by point by point. Two points. Point by point by point by point. And once again, Dick Van Strike take on Ewoki Horror. We're having a bit of offensive jamming against each other there, as well as a lot of wall work going on. And both jammers are really fighting their way through. Both these walls are standing heavy. But there we go. Dick Van Strike gets through for Lee Jammer. Oh, and a cheeky star stash from me, Waki Horror, getting through on that inside line. Dick Van Strike calling the jam from the floor after taking a big hit from Alan Key. Still put three points on the board, and that's what we want at the end of the day. Points on that board. That was three to zero jam for the Brawlers. Stevie Gonzalez having a little uh, pivot line dance party by himself there. Best place to have a dance party, the pivot line. And we now have Gruff and Serial Killer up on the, bo the board, on the drum line. And Serial Killer gets through with that lead jam, finding all these little gaps to sneak through. But Gruff dips and dives and dodges and ducks and gets his way all the way through and coming through chasing down Serial Killer. But Serial gets through, puts his four points up on the board. Here come a bit louder, a bit louder! Don't make me come out there. He's such a dad. <laughs> like factually, he is a dad, but he's... As he went past, we got the leg guitar. Just... Pure Mario knows he gets it. It's pure dad. And here we go, Bubs against Lord Jack Skating on that jam line. And Lord Jack Skating is finding those gaps and manages to get a lead through. But Bubs is right on and chasing Lord Jack Skatington down. Bob's getting through with a little help from his friends. Uh, yeeted through the pack by Pixel. Oh, what an apex jump there from all yes. four points for Bob's. What a little jump there. Not going to lie, that's probably the least impartial you'll ever see me. That was flipping beautiful. Really was. Oh, we have, there, there's been a coffee spillage. I might have a little bit of time. I might come and annoy some of you. Who do I want to annoy? <laughs> um, and, uh, oh, hey, we've got some time. I'm going to go and annoy some people. So, who can I annoy? I'm coming over here. I'm going to take some time. <laughs> Hello, TSI. <laughs> We're skating a bit later on. How are we doing? OK. Bit more enthusiasm. Yeah, OK. Yeah, okay, that's such enthusiasm. Are we still? Yeah, we're still I'm being, I'm going further up. More shops up here, yeah. 
I'm seeing you with the actors of the shop. Who are you? What are you selling? Scented candles, Claymore candles. There you go. So if you want to smell nice after this, you probably do. Come and get some scented candles. How are we doing? No, still okay. I'm coming around here now. Who haven't I seen around here yet? I've seen you, I've seen you, I've seen you. Oh, there's more people all the way down here. Can't alien lights are in my way. Ooh, Hello. Hello. Mama Truckers. Oh, uh, lots of skate stuff. So if you need anything, it looks like anything, helmets, wheels. Oh, go, go back down. I don't know. Excuse me. Oh, I've got a long way to go now. I'm on my way. Oh, roller derby's happening. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm gonna go, go this way. We are the height professionalism. Walter went running off. I started having my breakfast. It's like I wasn't even gone. Yeah, of course. Um, so we, we had a bit of a, a to-do. Um, Dick Van Strike had rolled forward at the start of the jam, so he had to seed um, uh, instead of get uh, uh, an out-of-play penalty. No. A penalty. Can't, can't think oh, what it was. Yeah. A fa play. Failure to yield? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Um, so he it's, all, it's almost like I know what I'm talking about. Oh, right. Um, so he seeded. Oh, we almost had a jammer switch through, but one jammer was released before the other one sat. So that's we a 30 did. second in. We have a full two minute jam, one minute remaining. Exactly. Um, so yeah, uh, Dick Van Strike seeded. Um, the jam continued. Um, and before we even got to turn two, uh, Strike had picked up a penalty, took a seat. Mobius picked up lead. Um, and that's when we got to that point where we've jammed switches. Uh -huh, and Dick Van Strike is fighting his way through to the front and has got through on that initial pass. He's now going to try and put some points on the board. We have 30 seconds of this jam remaining. Let's see how many points both teams can ratchet up. Oh, and that is four points up on the board for Dick Van Strike. Oh, some big hits there from Morbius Trip. Explosive contact. And that is the jam. We ended that jam on five, six, six points to 12. We're at 98 to 191. So whoever asked me up on the balcony, 98 to 191 is the score. Just over 16 minutes remaining of the game. And here we go, we have Gruff up and through with a lead jammer. Keith Ramparts out of the pack as well and giving chase. Uh, is Gruff calling off that jam? Four points to one. So I've just been informed we have a phone here for Charlotte Smedley. Is there a Charlotte Smedley here who is missing a phone? It is here. We have your ID and your phone. Charlotte Smedley. Okay. It looks like we have another ref discussion going on. An official to, oh, timeout, it's a timeout. Thank you, Jack. 
So refs having a quick chat, teams are having a bit of a breather, re-strategizing, track is getting fixed. Roller derby, everyone. And don't worry, timeout, team timeouts are too short for me to come and run and annoy you. I just have to do this from the, over here. So we've just been informed there by the referee that a cut track penalty has been awarded to Gruff, as he called it, he cut the track, so it is starting at a, a power jam, Jarvis Shocker is on the jam line for Chaos Engine, and Coco is there trying to hold him back, and he sneaks through, sneaky sneaky boy, I suppose you can go and buy some of his stickers now. Oh, and there's Coco is fighting out Jarvis. Co Jarvis, oh, yep. So Coco is fighting with Jarvis. Co Co Jarvis, Jarvis Shocker did get through. Words, I, I can do them honestly. Oh, a, a big crash of skaters there, and Gruff is on track and has been taken to the back. And that was fancy footwork by Gruff takes around the outside as uh, Megapixel takes down Jarvis Shocker. But Jarvis Shocker is getting through and calls the jam, not letting Gruff get any points on the board. I mean, in all fairness, Gruff, you shouldn't have got the penalty. It was your own fault. Don't cut the track. Good, good advice for all the Derby don't cut the track. And here we go, we have Bubs taking on Lord Jack Skatington. And Bubs takes Lee Jammer. Jack stashing their way through the pack. A oh, little, little bit of a fumble on the, uh, the helmet cover there. Bubs has got through with a flying inside line. Points on the board, nothing on the board for Chaos Engine. So We're past the halfway mark now, we have 13 minutes left of this second, this first game, the second period of this first game today. First game of four. Oh, it's a long day. 106 plays 204 in favor of Chaos. And here we go, Dick Van Strike, Mobius trip once again on that jam line. Coco is right in front of that jammer. And we've got a lot, a lot of action going on here. Both jammers are fighting their way through. Both walls are holding solid. They do not want to give this up. But we did get lead jammer for Chaos Engine. Oh, and that was unlucky. Got to the end of it, but the, jam the uh, blocker did knock them off. And Mobius Trip has got round for another scoring pass. Nice take off there by Steven Gonzalez. Maybe a strip now, resetting himself. But we have had a completed star pass. Coco is now our jammer. <laughs> K 
Chaos Engine are not wanting to let this jammer through at all. Oh, well, Coco gets through on that inside line. And now they are laying on those crossovers. And here we go, Coco is coming in for the scoring pass. We've got a lot of fighting going on here, pushing. And this is a contact sport, and we all get knocked all over the place. Coco, an absolute veteran of the sport, the captain of the Super Smash Brawlers. And that jump came to its conclusion with a... Picks up the full four points. Yeah, four versus 14 on the scoreboard there. 110 to 218. <laughs> Heard it here first, folks. Coco is still a better jammer than Gruff. Speaking of, Gruff and Ewoki Horror are on the jam line. Gruff really needs to prove himself here to be a better jammer than Coco. Proof is in the pudding. Did you know, by the way, that um, Ewoki Horror is actually um, three raccoons in a trench coat? I could quite believe that. Yeah. And Gruff does get lead jammer. Well done, Gruff. You might be a better jammer than Coco yet. Yeah, he's getting shouted at there for like, being nice to us. He needs to, he needs to focus on the game. He, he gets that a lot, to be fair. What gets shouted at? Yeah. I, I, I can see that happening. Keep going, Gruff. Get more points. Do the thing. Do a kickflip. Oh. Gruff is quite casually finding his way through that, that pack. I told him to put points on the board, and he is. Ewoki Horror is still fighting out at the front. Beat the Parker was not having any of it, but Ewoki Horror is through. Gruff is just sailing through. Over a minute for Ewok to get through to complete his initial. Gruff calls it after getting through, and I believe that is another 12 points on the board for the Brawlers. Well done, Gruff. So we have just passed, we're on jam number 15. Uh, we've got eight and a half minutes left of this game. It's been quite an exciting game so far. We all having a good time. Are you looking forward to three more games? You're going to be tired by the end of it, I'm very sure. But make sure, like Snook said, eat and hydrate. That's important. We want to keep that energy up. Serial killer with some beautiful footwork getting out, picking up lead jammer for Chaos Engine. However, Bob's going around the outside, around the outside, completing his initial pass for the Brawlers. Oh, another cheeky hop from Bubs there. That's Bubs' go to move, and it worked again. There's another four points on the board for Bubs. Oh, we have an official review. Guess what that means? I'm coming out there! Snoogs will find out what's going on over there. I'm going to come and annoy you a lot. Who can I annoy? Who haven't I seen yet? Let's go this way. Hello, we'll talk to you. Hello. Having a good time? Dodgy, I am. That's what we like to hear. Everyone having a good time? Yeah. Everyone having a good time? I like it. Let's come over here. Let's come up here. So, things are going on. How are you? Great, thanks. Having a good time? Very much. I'm just annoying everyone. I'm just fine. I'm working my way around. Let's go back to the shops. All the way up here. Do a full lap. Carnelian Light, hello. Hi. Scared them again. Hi. Everyone, come buy things from up here. There's lots of things, many, many things. Many, many, many. There's even more over here. 
Things still going on over there. Things are still going on. Oh, I'll keep going. More skating stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Buy things. Commerce. How are we doing? Not too bad. I, I need to give you the mic for you to talk. No, 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 no. no. Okay, no, no mic. But lots of skating stuff. I'm going to come back down now. Skating stuff. T-shirts, stickers, badges, prints, soap, laser cut things, handmade things, so many things, cake, lots of cake. Oh look, Johnny Bloxville, I won't give him a live mic, we might get shut down. All right, I'm on my way back down, Snooks is coming back to the desk. Oh, there's a lot of steps, many steps. Nearly there, right. I'm back. While I catch a breath, Snooze will tell you what happened. Uh, the brothers were looking for an elbows call to be made um, on Jammer from previous Jam. Um, no eyes on the call, uh, action, no call stands. No, oh, we had a complete star pass there, but Lord Jack's gaining did get through as Lee Jammer. That's a long way to pull up those shots. Especially at speed. Uh, there we go, that is the jam called off. Three points up on the board for Chaos Engine to, is that, four to seven for that jam. Here we go, Gruff once again in the Jammer. Jarvis Shocker. Uh, nearly a photo finish, but Gruff is out first. But Jarvis Shocker is right behind Gruff, and he's actually now in front of him. A little bit of fancy footwork there. Everybody change places. And Gruff just calls it. We want to make Jarvis Shocker think he might get some points, but then pull the rug out from underneath him. We are fast approaching the last five minutes of this game. 130 to 229. This has been quite an exciting game so far. Kraken. And here we go, Bubs for the Smash Brawlers. Taken off, coming out of turn one, so has to recycle behind Sausage Roller. Oh, but some fancy jumping there, and not, did I, he, he, Bubs got through, but got a no pass, no penalty. Decides to just run with it. But no. the lead is still open. Bubs has gone for that jump, didn't quite pay off this time. And Chaos call it, get lead and call it straight away to minimise how many more points the Brawlers are able to put on the board. Serial killer racing through the center of the pack, picking up that lead jammer status.
And it looks like uh, Brawlers are coming in for some sc a scoring pass. Oh, uh, Dick Van Strike uh, is pushing his way through that pack. Did end up pulling a multiplayer block on Edgar Allan. Whoa. Beautiful two wall work by Steven Gonzalez and Coco to take off and recycle Serial Killer. So he has to work right. double time for that scoring pass. Dick Van Strike did put some points up on the board. That jam gave us a 4 to 12 jam. We have just less than three minutes left on the clock. We probably only have a couple more jams left of this game. And here we go, Gruff and Lord Jack Skating on the jam line. Gruff takes lead jammer, but Lord Jack Skating is right behind it. And now we have some offensive jamming going on. Lord Jack Skating takes the lead, but Gruff, oh, with a big hit, knocks Lord Jack Skating off track. A cheeky, cheeky apex jump from Lord Jack Skatington. Beautiful bit of sport. Four to one. Beautiful bit of sports personship there at the end. Well, we have an official review. Guess what that means? Don't probably for the last time today. I've been told I'm a bit loud. I've never been told that before, honest. No one's ever said that. Okay, let's go up here. What do we do? What do we do? I don't know how to annoy you. We've only got a few minutes. I want to talk to an official. Hello. Hello. Are you having a good time? Yeah. You're officiating, I believe, the games three and four? I am, yeah. Everything going well so far? Yeah, going great. I'm just sitting down because I don't want to run up and down all those stairs. There's a lot of stairs. But it's, it's been a very good game so far. And is it, is it nice to watch for a couple of games as well? It's interesting. I'll leave you a note now. So it looks like the refs are having a bit of a chat. I could go and talk to TSI, but I don't think any of them want to talk to me. No, they're avoiding me. I'm, I'm not going all the way up there again. I'll have to keep running down. It's too far. Conserve your energy. Yeah, I've got a play later. I need, I need, I'm, I'm tired already. It's going to be a long day. It's fun, though. Actually, there's shops down here. Let's go and look at these shops. Merch. Hello, merch people. How are we all doing? We have, we have lots of merch, lots and lots of stickers, so many stickers. All of the Sheffield stickers of the various Sheffield teams, many Sheffield teams. Are you having a good day so far? Sheffield Steel Roller Girls. Roller Derby. Let me get it right. Sheffield Steel Roller Derby. Look, support the Sheffield. There's Till, the Sheffield Steel. There is. Who else have we got? We've got lots. Sheffield Steel, which is the other one we've got? AM Craft. So more crafts, lots of patches, badges, stickers. Just come and have a great old time. Spend lots of money because Roller Derby merch is awesome. I'm going to go sit back down now. Wait till Snoogans comes back. I can't run around too many more times. Luckily, there's only two minutes left on the clock. So probably don't have many more jams left. So the official review has gone through. It looks like a decision has been made. Snoogans will update us on what it is when they return. Uh, so um. Chaos Engine, we're looking for a multiplayer block to be assessed to uh, the Brawler's Jammer from the previous jam. Uh, it was determined that there was no multiplayer type action going on, so no cool stands. 
There we go. And I mean, obviously, the last, the last one of the game, you've just got to go for it sometimes. Uh, but Bubs has got lead jammer, but is getting pushed to the outside. So here we are, Ewoki Horror is out as lead jammer in what is probably this last jam of the game. And looks like we have a completed star pass there to Buzz Killington. Ewoki Horror has called the jam. And it went to a zero and four jam. And a timeout has been called, so we will have one more jam. That clock is stopped at 10 seconds. And everyone, our announcer for the next game, we have Clearly Psycho. So here we go, this timeout is almost over. We'll be coming into our final jam of the game. This has been quite an exciting game. We've got 138 to 249 coming at this final jam. And we have Gruff and Soup on the jam line. Soup along the inside line. Uh, full skate name oh. rolling for Soup. Uh, and if you've ever wondered, uh, they are rolling for the reward of soup. Um, I asked them once if they were rolling to win soup, if they were rolling on behalf of soup. Um, they were rolling to win soup because they think it would be a nice reward at the end of a game. And there we go, the jam is called. That is looking like that will be it. Three points to the Super Smash Brawlers and four to Chaos Engine. We currently have an unofficial final score of 141 to 253. That jammer, the uh, scorekeeper, the scorekeeper, the jam timer has called the whistle. It looks like that will be finishing us off for the day. The referees are just checking the last little bit. Have we all enjoyed this first game?